Hey, how you doing? Now, does classic menswear have to be expensive? It can be, but it doesn't have to be. The key thing is, is knowing where to look. Now, just as an example, having enjoyed a bit of chocolate, I sat and thought, hat used to be bigger back in the day. And then they will tell you, well, no, it's the same size, sir. They can't say that about neckties. The simple reason being, nowadays, what they may do is skimp on the length. They'll certainly skimp on the construction and they may well indeed skimp on the width. So why go somewhere, pay a premium for a piece of clothing that you don't enjoy, that doesn't do what you want it to do? My point being, I really, really enjoy trawling through auction websites, trawling through trusted resellers of quality, quality garments, going to vintage fairs, going to antique stores and sifting through all that stuff. Because yes, you'll find stuff that I uh, don't really care for that, but you will find quite a bit of gold. To give you an idea, I picked up two lovely ties by Sulka. Now, first one is this one, really do enjoy it, and got an exact same matching pattern, pattern if you like, but with a pale blue stripe through there. All in with post and packaging, 40 English pounds. I couldn't get one necktie of a similar quality for three and four times that amount today. That's my point. Let me know where you go. Let me know what sort of gold you found and I'll keep searching for mine. Hope that's useful and hope to see you soon.